Hey everyone, Wes Boss here. Thanks for checking this out. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I was talking to some friends today about Google PageSpeed. And if you haven't used it, it's this tool where you pop your URL in, it analyzes your website and comes back with a whole bunch of suggestions as well as a score as to how fast your website is as well as how usable your website is on mobile and uh, desktop. So essentially what I did is I popped in my own website and I, I found out that I had a 51 out of 100, which is tons of room to improve. And um, I'm not really a performance guy. I know quite a few little tricks and stuff here and there. Um, so I thought like, how easy is it to really fix your website for just a regular old Joe Josephine developer like myself? So um, what I did is I got it up from a 51 all the way to a 94 in about an hour's time. Uh, my website is a WordPress website. It's pretty heavy on images um, and uh, it's been kicking around for a while. So uh, I'm just going to step through each of the sections as to um, what the problem was. I just kind of recorded it, just exp explaining what the problem was and I went out to fix it. And then I came back when it was fixed telling you what I did. So um, pretty off the cuff, pretty, um, pretty unpolished, but hopefully you can learn a thing or two from this. Um, I'm at West Boss on Twitter, W-E-S-B-O-S. -E uh, if you've got any suggestion, I'd love to hear from you. So enjoy. Thanks. Hey everyone, Wes Boss here. So I was checking out my own website on the Google Developers PageSpeed Insights and um, I actually get a pretty bad score on mobile um, and on desktop it's really not that great as well. So what I was planning on doing was sort of going through some of the ideas as to what they suggest you should fix um, and see if I can get it a little bit faster. I'm just going to document my uh, my findings and what I've done over the day. So a uh, quick rundown, my website, westboss.com. Um, I've had this website probably kicking around forever, probably just a WordPress website. I've redesigned it a couple times, but uh, it definitely has some cruft uh, hanging around from uh, the past years. So uh, pretty standard WordPress website. I know a lot of people have WordPress websites. So they struggle with uh, keeping it fast. So uh, I'm going to fix it. All right. See you in the next one. All right. First one I've got is eliminate block render blocking JavaScript CSS in above the fold content. So essentially what that means is your page it says your page has four blocking scripts and seven blocking CSS resources. And this is generally a problem with WordPress because you enable a couple plugins and it just dumps all kinds of JavaScript and CSS into your head. Um, so it looks like um, if we take a look at my website right here, this wrapper right here, that's where the content is. So I have been kind of loading in jQuery, my plugins and some of my own JavaScript in below the content, which is great because that essentially when the page loads, each of these script tags here, here, these ones right here, uh, it stops everything, goes and downloads it and then continues on, stops it, downloads it, continues on, et cetera, et cetera. So um, what I need to do ideally is have most of this after the content so that people can just start reading the content and not have to wait for uh, stuff like this to download. It's so fast that you will probably won't even uh, realize the difference. Um, and then the CSS as well. Um, most of this stuff, I think you, de you definitely want some of your styles to be in the head because you don't want to have a, uh, a page that has some unstyled temporarily, uh, but it doesn't look like I need all of this uh, to be in the head, like especially things like it looks like I'm doing a bunch of stuff for syntax highlighting. Um, so I'm going to look at how I can move that uh, to the foot. Okay, so um, I actually managed to get it up to 74 and 80 on desktop just by doing two sort of simple things in about half an hour's worth of work. Uh, first one was I was actually loading in a bunch of my scripts via script tags, which I know is not the greatest way. And uh, it's just because this is an older WordPress theme. So uh, I took this, all of the script tags out of my uh, header and footer.php and used WP in Q script instead. Um, and when you use WP in Q script to enqueue any sort of JavaScript that you need, so I've got some Google API stuff, I've got jQuery going on here. I've got some type kit. Uh, and if you're the last parameter here is something called in foot and you say true. Uh, and what that will do is it'll queue them all up um, and uh, put them in the footer. And the, but they'll still give you individual script tags at that point. Um, so I went ahead and used this really great plugin called Zencache. So uh, normally I would have like a gulp deploy or something like that, or a gulp plugin that would uh, come concatenate all my scripts into one. But since WordPress uses plugins, I don't have access to all of the, the different JavaScript that I need. So um, what Zencash will do, and uh, by default you just turn on, it works pretty well. But if you pay for their one, it's about 40 bucks. It's totally worth it. Uh, what they'll do is they will 
um, just concatenated all your JavaScript into one file and concatenate all your CSS uh, into one file as well. So uh, if I go to my page you have now, to be in an incognito tab because if you're logged into your WordPress, it won't show you the cached version. But if, right, if I just go ahead now and view page source, you'll see that first of all, it concatenated all my HTML together, which is going to save me a little bit on uh, on page load. Um, and then if I just search for .css, it just took all of my CSS and just mangled it into one tiny little or big little file. Um, and then if you look for JS, um, .js down here, uh, you'll see that right here I've got my compressor parts.js and this is all of the JavaScript. This is jQuery and everything that I required to actually run my site. There's still some other JavaScript stuff here. Uh, for loading in a kismet and some stats, which uh, I'm sure I could get those into the same file as well if I really wanted to, but uh, they're at the they're at the bottom of the page, so they're loading there. Um, and what that will do is, uh, yeah, it definitely helps me out to get it a little bit faster. I'm at a 74 now, um, so now it's telling me it should fix um, leverage browser caching. So setting an expiry date or maximum age in HTTP headers for static resources, instruct the browser to load previously downloaded resources and local data. So essentially what's happening right now is that all of these like images that I have on my website, um, first of all, they might be a little bit bigger than they, they should be. And I'll take a look at fixing that. But more importantly is that every time someone visits a website, there's no expiration set on it. So it's going to re-download the same image every single time that they come to it. And things like my logo, things like a post image, they may come to my site like four or five times a month and they don't need to re-download those. So I'm going to work on that now and I'll see you in the next All update. right. So I got it up to 80, uh, which is a couple lines added to my HT access. So if you're not familiar, um, there is an HT access file uh, generally in the root of all servers that run WordPress. It's an Apache file. Um, but you can also do this if your server runs Nginx or something like that. So um, you'll, if you open your HTTP access file, you'll probably see something like this. Um, don't worry about that. That's for permalinks. But uh, what I added right here is this header set cache control max age 6 uh, 60, 604,800. Essentially what that means is it will cache all of the images and files that it sends for up to one week. So if someone comes to my website more than once uh, in a week, they won't have to re-download all of those. So uh, I re-ran it and I got 80. Um, one other thing that I did is I've just found this little uh, snippet here to turn on what's called gzipping on my um, server and sometimes you'll uh, you'll hear of gzipping and people say oh it's a library is this big but it's this big gzip and essentially what gzipping does is it takes um, sort of duplicate text like like for example if you have the word console.log like six times in your JavaScript or if you have alert seven times in your JavaScript um, because you've said it seven times it's not going to send it seven times that it will just uh, kind of minify it and it, it knows that uh, it just sends the word console log once and then it replaces all the other instances with some sort of uh, like notifier. I don't really know too to, to deep into how that works but uh, I know that it essentially if you have the same uh, amount. If you have the same word over and over, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I just went to this website, check gzipcompression.com. Um, and it says you're blessed. Well, thank you. Uh, so uncompressed my site was that much, but now that I turned on gzip, it, uh, significantly quite a bit smaller. So, uh, pretty happy about that. So I'm at 80. Um, I've passed all of the should fix and now I'm at the desktop's looking pretty good. Mobile still needs a bit more. Uh, my user experience is good. Um, but it says consider fixing optimized images um, and then a couple other of the things here. So I'm going to keep working on those. All right, one uh, little thing that PageSpeed is telling me here is that my images are way too big, 17%, 47% too big, uh, 7%, et cetera, et cetera. All this stuff can really add up to uh, slowing a page down. Um, and I actually use this um, service called Kraken.io. Uh, generally, what I'll do is I'll use some sort of like a uh, local gulp task to, to compress my images, and that's free. But uh, when you have a client who has WordPress, uh, they're just uploading all kinds of images to the WordPress backend and you can't really tell them, well, oh, please run the gulp, gulp task before you uh, uh, upload anything. So uh, I use this Kraken image optimizer. I think it's about five bucks a month. Um, and there's a WordPress plugin where essentially when you upload your images, it will run them through Kraken and uh, give you all kinds of really amazing savings. Like, look at this. I'm just running a couple of PNGs through 
uh, here, and they are giving me 75, 85, 41% savings, 58% savings. So um, it turns out I had that turned off <laughs> on my own website, which I, I shouldn't have. Uh, so I turned it back on and uh, I'm running it uh, right now, and that, that should save me quite a bit. Um, that's for images uploaded, but uh, it also looks like some of these images here are in my theme, which uh, I'm going to uh, remedy now, just manually run them through uh, the web interface here on Kraken.io uh, and get those to be as small as I can as well. So I'll let you know when I'm done. All right, I did it. Uh, so it's about an hour's worth of work uh, and totally worth it. Brought it from, what do we start at? Like a 50 something all the way up to 87 on mobile and a 94 on desktop. So I just want to go through these last couple ones. So it tells me consider fixing, eliminate render blocking JavaScript and CSS above the fold. So if you open it up, it's yelling at me and saying that the one CSS file that I do have on my page um, maybe I shouldn't have that in that head. And uh, essentially what you could do is you could split that CSS up into what is needed for the first paint, like this entire uh, one right here, and then use the rest of the CSS in your uh, in your foot and uh, at the end of the page and, and load that in. But uh, I'm really not that concerned about it. It's, it's a pretty small file and it loads pretty quickly. So um, I'm not that concerned with that one. Um, what else is it telling us here? Leverage browser caching. So I did turn browser caching on. That was in the HT access. Um, but it's just yelling me at me for things like um, uh, this is the Facebook Connect. It's yelling me at Google API for Twitter, uh, OAuth, Google Analytics. So all of these external scripts that I need in order to run my website, I don't have any access over those. So they have turned on some sort of caching, but it's not like two days like I have it set on. So nothing I can do there. Uh, minify your JavaScript. Again, it's yelling at me because of something from Facebook and something from Google. Again, nothing I can do. Um, same goes for uh, desktop. It's, it's the same stuff. So that's it. Um, definitely worth putting about an hour's worth of your time into figuring out how to make that faster um, because uh, I went from a pretty pathetic score to uh, something that I'm pretty proud of. And uh, definitely, I'm definitely interested to see if it uh, starts to increase the time on my page and uh, the amount of people that come to my website. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm at Westboss on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Westboss. Uh, if you've got questions or anything or you want to talk about this, um, I'm sure there's quite a bit more I can do with my website to make it more performant. So if you've got any uh, ideas on how to do that, I'd love to hear you. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.